What's up everybody, Drew Peacock here, and today I'm gonna to be trying to teach you guys how to drive stick shift. I'm in my 2002 V6 Mustang right now. This is the car I learned stick in, so I figured, you know, fuck it, I'll try to teach you guys in it. So when you get in your stick shift car, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, you know, get used to your pedals. They're not the same size as automatic car pedals. You see, I have three pedals. I have my clutch, I have my brakes, and I have my gas. And before you guys go in the comments and roast me on my shoes, I'm wearing these shoes so you guys can see my feet better. If I was wearing black or brown shoes, you guys probably would not be able to see them as good. So these bright orange, ugly ass shoes are what I'm wearing today. So you got your clutch, your brake, and your gas. It's that simple, okay? And then you have your little resting foot pedal over there. That's so as you're moving, you don't want to leave your foot on the clutch. You don't want to even put it on top of it or like rest it on it. Just leave it over there. Don't touch this because then you'll prematurely wear out your clutch and some other fucking components. So brake, gas, clutch. It's that simple. And then so this foot is dedicated to the clutch and these, these two or this foot is dedicated to these two. So, you know, just like an automatic, just like that, okay? After that, go to your shifter and put in your clutch and just practice going through the gears. You don't do anything, just leave your clutch in and just rock through the gears, okay? So we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Just get a feel for it, okay? Um, you know, I've tried to teach people and I, you know, they wouldn't get a feel for the gears first. So then they'd go first, second, and then they try to go back into first and I would just hear and they'd just be grinding the shit out of my gearbox. Um, so um, just go first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And then if you have six or whatever, don't, you know, after you go into fifth, don't go into reverse. That does not stand for race mode. Um, it does not give you any extra horsepower, trust me. Um, but that's just reverse. And in some cars, reverse is nice and you don't have to like click up or you have to push down. Um, but uh, in mine, you just just go far, the, far to the right and down, almost like six gear. But yeah, get a feel for your, um, your shifter. And um, after you feel comfortable with your shifter, then you should be ready to move. So put it in neutral. Neutral, you can wiggle it around. Other gears you can't see first. It wiggles a little, but nowhere near as much as this. So put it in neutral and then get this bitch into first. So put your clutch in and pop it into first. Now you're ready to move, okay? If you let off your clutch and you stall out, this is what it'll feel and look like. So your car will just rock, shake, and not move very much you know you just it's kind of bad so try not to do it as much um but you should be fine you know everyone's gonna stall my first week of driving i stalled at a four-way stop inside a mall parking lot oops and um that was pretty embarrassing and uh no one honked at me but uh you know i stalled there i stalled on a hill and uh you know hills i'll teach you guys a little bit later but um i mean they're not hard anymore for me so you know it's all just practice so let's get um let's get this bitch moving so right now i have nothing on i'm gonna move my steering wheel so you guys can see my feet for this one so um i'm gonna just show you my feet first there's my feet clutch in you'll listen for me you know listen i'm gonna put it into first it's in first now now i'm going to give it a little bit of gas I'll give it about that much so you keep it up around there and i'm gonna slowly release the clutch And we're moving. Then the shift, same thing, clutch in, and then shift and then clutch out. It's that simple. Okay. So here, let me um let me show you guys one more time. So clutch in, put it into first, RPMs up, clutch out, and like tug of war type of shit on the gas pedal. So like if I can um if I can illustrate this, imagine you know, as you're letting out the clutch you're pushing in the gas okay I would show you with two hands but I'm holding it with the camera so you know you go clutch out and then in with the gas at the same time though so you know try to picture that kind of like tug of war as one comes off the other one goes on it's but you know not too much don't fucking floor down the the, the gas but you know you, you kind of I hope you're getting my drift but here let's do it one more time and then I'll show you a different angle so you know nothing in I'm in neutral clutch in Okay, gear in, gas up, and then we go, okay, and then those those noise animations, hopefully you guys make them the same every time you drive, you know, if you do those noise animations, and you're driving around with a chick, uh, she'll fall in love with you, that's just, uh, that's facts at this point, so, um, let me show you guys one last time, just to get you guys going, 
on how to get your car moving. So again, step by step, clutch in, gear in, RPMs up, and then tug of war the gas. That's it, okay. Then once you're moving, which we are, we're cruising along here, people might say, okay, well, when do I shift? Now for me, I generally shift around 2000 if I'm trying to save gas. So you go clutch in, gear shift, clutch out. And then, you know, it's that simple, man. It, it, it's really that simple. That's, I think, the biggest misconception about driving stick is when do I shift? And that is literally whenever you want. It's that simple. So watch, I can shift whenever I want. If I want to shift around 3000, I can. Now I'm obviously speeding in a residential, so hopefully I don't get a fucking ticket. But, um, um, yeah, I mean, it's that simple. If you want to shift super early, right around 1,000, one, no, not 1,000, but right around one and a half, you could. See that? Every time you see it go down, it's me shifting. So watch here, and then here's the downshift. It's really easy, guys. It's really easy. Okay, so then once you got your shifting down, and again, this is just a, a overall video, people might say, okay, well then how do I slow down? And obviously if you slow down in a gear, um, you might stall out. So what you gotta do, is you, if you're in gear, put it into neutral, and then just start braking. Everything else off, just start braking. It's that simple. Okay, so again, um, you probably shouldn't try to do this in a residential area. If there was a car behind me, they'd probably think I'm a, some sort of weirdo, because I just went from speeding to braking randomly, so. Um, but yeah, it's really simple, guys. Um, Anyway, I, I, I think I, I covered a little bit of everything. Um, you know, the hardest part in driving stick is just getting the car moving. After you get it moving, it's really simple. So, you know, if I'm gonna slow down, you know, see I'm slowing down to a stop. It's in neutral right now. I'm just braking normally. And then I come to a stop. So then, you know, clutch in, gear in, and then just acceleration and clutch out. And shift, shift, shift. And see, it's really, really simple, guys. So anyway, hopefully, you know, hopefully this helped. If not, you know, ask me down in the comments. I'll, um, you know, I'll answer your guys' questions. And if you guys want to see other things, like how to do hill starts or downshift or rev match or I don't know launch, anything you guys want to see, just let me know. And um. I'd, 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 I'd be happy to uh, to make the video. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully this helped. See you guys later.